so hey guys this is my very first tutorial and in this video i'm going to show you how can you create your own custom uh, binary file and say data in it and load data from that so guys this is my very first tutorial and i'm a bit nervous so now without wasting any time let's get into unity so hey guys uh, for that uh, you can only serialize uh, primitive uh, variables so it means that uh, you can only use int bool string plot and their arrays only so if you want a uh, game object and transform or other uh, vector 3 so you cannot do that uh, so if you don't know about primitive variables so you can just uh, search it on google or youtube so you can just do that and so guys uh, uh, if you want any vector 3 so for that you can create a float array and so assign it xyz value over here and just like that and if you want color uh, so you can also do it just like this over here you can see that uh, so one for r and another for g and b and opacity so you can just create it just like this one and everything will be fine now and but you must know that you can only just realize these things only so you have to just remember that so i have just created um, uh, two text and two buttons over here just to show number over here and then text over here and one button to save and another one to load and everything will be fine so you can create it by right click on hierarchy and then ui and then text and button over here so you can just create that as well i think you just know so i just don't want to waste your time so now uh, right click on uh, this assets and then uh, create and then see subscript so let's name it uh, cast class so i just want to name it also you can name whatever you want so double click to open it on visual studio and so we will not uh, use any of these libraries so i just delete this and i will also just not use mono behavior so you, we can't just use uh, mono behavior without this uh, unity engine library so i just deleted it and now here uh, since this is a serializable class so we have to use this uh, system that serializable so just uh, just use uh, so serializable so now everything will be fine so now here i will just uh, take a uh, int uh, so is number so guys i have also created a uh, one bool and one float array just to show you uh, so you can create whatever you want so it depends upon your needs so what you want to save and what you want to just uh, keep it uh, so it also it should include just those things and now i have just play uh, click control plus s and to save this and now i will just go back and so uh, so i have to create uh, another uh, script which will be our main script so for that right click again and create and now sys up and let's name it uh, so cast uh, binary uh, fetcher so you can name whatever you want uh, so yeah and double click to open it on visual studio and i will also delete these uh, two libraries and i will also delete mono behavior over here and these two uh, methods as well uh, so yeah okay uh, now we will use uh, two other libraries so first library is our system.io uh, so that will help us to just read and write any file in uh, csap and another one will be a bit uh, it's a bit tedious to just remember so but just uh, it's a uh, uh, system that runtime uh, dot uh, serialization dot binary uh, dot formatted dot binary so if it's a bit long and tedious to learn but you have to just uh, know uh, know it and just include this uh, in your uh, library so it will help us to convert any of your uh, file into a binary file and then uh, get back your uh, file uh, from binary file so it just help in conversion uh, so you have to just include that library and now let's uh, so one more thing so we have to just uh, make it static class so static so it means that you can just uh, call the, any of these its method or property without just uh, uh, referencing uh, this class so uh, it help us uh, uh, it uh, help us if there's only one class uh, of this type so otherwise uh, it will not work so you have to just be careful about that and so uh, you can also do it by just uh, removing static and uh, just uh, getting mono behavior over at the end uh, and then after that you have to just uh, create uh, it as a uh, uh, property of uh, some uh, object input game object then you can just reference that game object and then uh, get the component uh, uh, as this uh, cast binary feature and then uh, call its uh, properties or methods so that's a bit long and tedious work so uh, you can just include a single word static and uh, you can just call its method without any just uh, referencing so that help us so now uh, let's create a first uh, method so it should also be static uh, since uh, static uh, class only have static method and property should also be static so now let's uh, it does not uh, return any type so it's a uh, return type should be void and now let's uh, name it say about data uh, so it must uh, take string uh, path as first parameter and then uh, string uh, and uh, cast class as data so you can uh, rename uh, 
as whatever you want uh, so this class class is this realizable class which we have created so if, uh, you should just name the uh, write the name of class that you have uh, so i have class class so i have just written that and so you can also name whatever you want over here uh, in this place of data so i just uh, uh, type uh, data because it will be easy to understand uh, uh, while calling this from other method uh, so it will be a bit easy and so now we have to just uh, uh, so uh, but uh, since I just want to show you so I just uh, uh, take this uh, string uh, path and just show you to and just uh, call it over here but uh, for more dynamic and more effective use and uh, so you have to just uh, give it as a parameter because I just want to show you I just uh, take it over here and for now there one problem comes over here that's uh, the path for all of uh, different platform is different for example uh, the path of android refers to ios and uh, same goes for mac and uh, windows so for that uh, we have one uh, one class called application uh, which is inside this uh, library unit engine which will have, uh, take care of everything uh, its property called uh, data path and persistent data path so let's call it application dot so you can either use uh, this application dot data path or application dot persistent data path so you can use either of them uh, so i just use uh, persistent data path and then plus and after that you have to give this slash and if you have any folder just give the folder name uh, so uh, if you have any folder then give the floor, folder name and then file name uh, but since we don't have any uh, folder so i just uh, give the name of my file that i want to create so i just want to name it as cast file so you can name whatever you want and then give dot and give its extension so you can either give uh, whatever you want but i just want to name it as uh, so what do I want? So uh, I just want uh, is as a file, uh, cast file that cast. So you can name whatever you want. It does not matter. So just uh, give whatever you want. And so yeah. after that we want a binary formatter. Uh, so binary formatter. Uh, so let's name it formatter. Uh, and let's initialize that. Uh, so it will uh, this binary uh, formatter will uh, convert any file into binary file and then back, get back your file. So it will help in conversion. So let's uh, just uh, initialize that and after that we have to just uh, create a file stream uh, so it will just create uh, any file so for that we have to just create a file stream so let's name it stream uh, so and just initialize that uh, file stream so uh, here we have to give some uh, parameter that first one is path and another one is uh, file mode uh, so so a file mode means that do you mean uh, do you want to create or open the file so this time uh, we don't have any file so we just want to create the file and now uh, after that we just uh, need uh, this formatter to convert uh, this data uh, at uh, the file which we have created at, at this path so just uh, use this formatter uh, that serialize since we want to convert uh, our data into binary file so we want to serialize that and give the stream and that give data so after that uh, so this data is of this type cast class so it must be the type of uh, this serializable class which we want and so after that everything will be fine but you must know that you should always close this stream file stream so uh, i have just uh, done that and now everything is done now we have done that so now let's create one another method just to uh, uh, i mean uh, load files uh, so load data so for that let's also create a static uh, static uh, method but this time we want to just return value of this type this realizable class so return type must be of cast class so um, since we i want to return my data of this type uh, so you just have to just uh, give the return type as correct and now i just want to name it as load data load our data so and now uh, for uh, parameter you can just give a string path over here uh, so yeah uh, you can do that and so but since uh, this is only for showcase and I don't want uh, to give it as a uh, parameter uh, so I just uh, copy this and just paste it over here so but more uh, but for more effectiveness you can uh, you have to just uh, give it as a parameter and check if that file exists or not if it exists then uh, go for it otherwise uh, show some error or whatever you want and also uh, here while uh, saving the um, saving our data uh, you can uh, check that if any uh, if that folder exists or not uh, after that uh, just uh, you have to just get uh, the path of folder and name of file uh, to separately and so check that if that folder exists or not uh, by using file uh, uh, directory exists or not so you can just check that and if it exists just uh, create a file with that name and so you can just uh, do that so that's for more effectiveness and to avoid error so you can do that uh, so since uh, that comes that's not the, of this part and it will make a script more 
tedious just to understand uh, for beginners so i just avoid that uh, but you have to use that in your um, script if if you want uh, it on your own game so if it's a commercial game then you should just include that uh, otherwise just it's for uh, it help us to in debugging uh, so just include that uh, but this time i just um, use the uh, i just copy paste over here so yeah you should also copy paste this these two methods so and here here you can check this uh, final uh, file exists or not so since this time we want to just uh, open this file because it's already created and we want to open it uh, so i just uh, uh, just uh, replaced create by open over here and now i want formatter uh, so formatter to convert uh, my binary file back to our original uh, file so for for that we have to use deserializable class and give stream so this is the stream uh, of that path it means this file uh, so we have just uh, given that file to convert back to our original file so for that uh, since it is returning some our data so for that we have to also save the data so the data type is of this uh, class which is cast class so we have to just uh, uh, create uh, other uh, thing uh, other uh, variable called cast class and let's name it data and so now it's showing some error so that's a uh, error of uh, casting so for that we can solve it by uh, two methods so for that uh, so you, we have to just do one thing you can either uh, click on uh, here as uh, cast class and now it will not show any error uh, so you can either do this or you can also just uh, go to end of this uh, line and just type as cast class so now it will not show any error so you can do either of these uh, so i just uh, let it be just like that and now we have to just return the value uh, so return uh, data now everything is fine but you must know that uh, you should always click uh, i mean close this stream so for that i just uh, type stream uh, that close and now everything is fine but uh, you should not use uh, it uh, after uh, return the data because uh, after return uh, it will not uh, uh, include it the compiler will not uh, just uh, go for any other things so for that uh, everything must everything of your script must be above uh, this return so you should just remember that and so now control s to save it and now everything is done so i will now create uh, another um, another script just to reference these uh, text and buttons so and uh, to call it uh, our main method so for that i just create a script and i'll just do it in fast forward so let's name it so here i have just uh, referenced uh, uh, i have just uh, taken two text where i will show number 1 and string 1 and i will just show bool and float array in uh, inspector and this is our uh, data which we uh, we will work on and this is of this uh, serializable class so that's it and now we will create uh, two methods one for saving and one for loading uh, so public void and so and save our data save data so this will be for uh, saving data for that we have to just uh, write a single line of code that's uh, uh, calling our uh, this this class and then calling its uh, method so for that save our data and now uh, i have to give our data of that type and now everything is fine so now uh, so here uh, we can just uh, call that method without referencing since i have already told you about that and so now uh, also create a method where i will just uh, uh, load my data so for that i'll just uh, type load data and here i'll just uh, type cast binary refresher dot load our data and since it doesn't have any parameter so i just uh, type that but if we had uh, parameter of path so you have to just give uh, give it so i don't have any, any of that so now it is returning something so i have to just save it uh, so uh, it's a uh, it have to be save, uh, saved in our data so i have just saved that and, and now everything will be fine so i'll now just uh, reference these two uh, text files and show it over here uh, so i'll do it uh, fast so now i have just uh, done this and i think you just know that and control has to save this and now let's go back to unity and you have to just uh, create an empty game object over here and so let uh, let it first compile it and yeah after that now uh, right click on hierarchy and then empty game object and let's name it binary handler uh, so we can name whatever you want uh, so and i will just uh, drag and drop this property to over here uh, so you can either do this or over here or you can also uh, click to uh, just uh, uh, add component and then search it uh, so you can do it uh, by any way so i will now i will just reprint all uh, things at right places uh, so yeah 
So now guys, I have just referenced uh, uh, all these things at right places and uh, save, uh, save method to uh, save button and load method to load button. Now I will just uh, play the game and yeah, we will uh, so check it over here uh, at binary handler and yeah, at first I will just uh, update these values. So yeah, guys, I have just updated uh, this and now I will click on save data and now. So guys, I have just uh, saved that and I have just uh, uh, closed the game and I just again play it and so now. Uh, then if I again uh, uh, click on load and now it's showing right things so yeah it's working so yeah, guys from now I will also try to be regular on YouTube and I will also try to post some uh, day blogs and some tutorials and some stuff like that and I will also try to remake some of games and yeah of course you can uh, give the name of games that you want me to remake and but guys I want to tell you that in the next video I'm going to show you how can you just uh, load this custom binary file using a uh, script uh, because uh, you cannot just uh, load any custom uh, binary file just uh, uh, by uh, resource.load so in the next video I'm going to show you how can you do that so till that I'm Kaas and see you soon in next one